Now, boundaries by definition is a line that marks the limit of an area. And when I feel like we think about in boundaries, I feel like we think about personal boundaries, okay? And to me, I believe that we need to establish boundaries mm -hmm. ourselves so we can protect ourselves from either being manipulated or disrespected. So let me give you a few of mine. As for me, my boundary, I don't like liars. You can't lie to me. I don't want you to lie to me. If you lie to me, that means that I can't trust you. So that's one boundary for me. Another one is trustworthiness. If you lack it, I can't hang with you. I can't mess with you. I can't walk this earth with you. And I dang sure can't talk to you. Why? Because I don't trust you. So that's a couple of mine. Now, as for some other people, some boundaries can uh, vary based on their personality and what they expect people to be like and what they want people to be like, such and such and so forth. But me, my main reason for making this video is because I need you guys to establish boundaries for yourself. Like I said in my self-worth video, I specifically stated that people treat you based on how you value yourself. So if you have self-worth, that means that you have boundaries. Things that you do not accept, those are boundaries. You feel me? Those are boundaries. So I actually want this video to be short, actually, this time, because I feel like it's, it's very clear. But I really, really, and here's imperative, I think that it's really imperative that everyone should know there are certain limitations. Because if you don't know those certain limitations, people will treat you like crap. They will. And I feel like the people that don't have boundaries for themselves, they expect nothing. Why? Because they don't have boundaries. And because they expect nothing, they accept everything. That's just how I see it. And I just want you all to have boundaries. You have to set boundaries for yourself. It kind of ties in with having a standard, but we'll get to that later on down the content. But I just really need you guys to have boundaries for yourself. You have to set a limitation on things, you know. There are certain things that you don't do. There are certain things that you don't allow people to do. You know what I'm saying? You'll have to eventually cut those people off. Why? Because they crossed that boundary. That's what that means. So, I gave y'all a little bit on my boundaries that I have established with people. You don't lie. You most certainly, you most certainly have to be trusted. I have to trust you to hang around you. And if I can't trust you, mm -mm, no. You have to be loyal. I love loyal people. I love honest and loyal people. And for me, that that's, mm, I mess with people like that. Um, <clears throat> Another thing, when it comes to relationships, I feel like certain boundaries are when you cheat, that's it. And this goes out for the females and the men. If somebody cheats on you, bounce. Because you know why? Once a cheater, always a cheater. If that person really loved you, there shouldn't have been any situation where they would even step out on you you feel me if someone loves you they wouldn't even think about doing something like that and that goes to men and women um uh, the reason why i brought that up is because you know for some reason people people think they think it's okay to accept certain things that have to do with cheating and oh this person will change yeah they may change you know but it's only a few that are mature enough and that they love a person enough to change i guess i don't know but for me if a person was to cheat on me that's it you, you can't allow that. That's a boundary that you, you let me stop getting emotional, but yeah, <laughs> if you cheat on somebody, that's a boundary right there, baby. If you lie, that's a boundary cross right there, baby. You, you can't do it. 